All right, what is up guys, VV back with another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about OP05 Purple Luffy. Um, I apologize again about my voice, guys. Uh, major post-nasal drip, just sinus allergies going on. I'm completely fine. I'm living off cough drops right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I feel completely fine, it's just my voice sounds all crazy. So y'all bear with me, guys. I'll try to make this a short video it's, as to not annoy everybody by this. So let's look at how uh, what we've seen so far in, in the over in the West, which is very limited results we have registered so far, because it's supposed to come out today at the time of me recording this, December eighth. But this tournament happened happened a little early. Okay, so hopping straight into here, you're gonna see a common theme. Um, Kaido and Queen are kind of all stars in the deck. They're actually let me start with the leader, guys. I'm sorry. First up, this is the leader. He's a 5 life, 5,000 power leader. With activate main once per turn, you may add the top card from your lifeguards to your hand. So you're going to draw your top lifeguard. And if the amount of dawn in your field is 0 or 3 or more, add up to one dawn card from your dawn deck and set it as active. So it's a way to ramp dawn. But you cannot do it on turn 2. That's why it's worded the way it is. You cannot do it on turn 2 no matter what. Okay? So... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. You're going to see a lot of 2K counters. You've got four X-Drake, four Ulti. You're also going to see four um, Zala and two Fran Franosuke. So that is 14 2K counters and one Blast Breath in this list. Then you're going to see the Eustace Kids right here. The two big boy Eustace Kids. These both came out in OP05 and uh, ST10. And then Magellan is kind of the middleman in the deck that kind of helps things... He helps slow your opponent down while you're still ramping. You see what I'm saying? And provides a threat on the board to stay mid-range and aggressive. Polly is a good way to keep ramping and potentially KO a character that costs four or less. Um, Trafalgar Law is just a nice blocker. He has Dawn minus one and the ability, if your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, they have to trash two and they don't get to pick. It's random. Okay. And the list we're looking at here actually runs um, this seven cost guy. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this, and I'm going to show you my list at the end. But yeah, and same thing, same idea with this. A little 2 cost 3k, 1k counter blocker. It's not horrible, it's just not really what I'm going for. But one thing that does make a lot of sense is this guy right here. 4 cost, 6,000 power vanilla characters with 1k counters. I don't care which one you pick. There's no keyword relevance currently. But this is a very, very um, good idea. Because the idea is... If you are going first with this deck, turn one, you say pass. Turn two, you're on three dawn, right? Well, if you have three or more dawn, you can do this effect. You'll go straight to four dawn, and they're about to be on four dawn next turn your opponent is. So you're going to match them. So having the ability to play these four call six gays is a very big idea, is a very big deal. And ulti, for those who don't know, this card can also cheat out page one, okay? So you do want page one. Four calls, 5k, 2k counter. On play, Dawn minus one. Play up to one page one character card with the cost of four or less from your hand without paying its cost. Well, you just ramped up a Dawn, so now you're just back on track. You don't even go backwards. You just get back on track. Okay, so there's one list. The next list we're going to look at is actually this one. It's very similar. And notice they run a poo for their four calls, 6k. And they're running eight uh, vanilla four calls uh, six Ks. The other the other list we just looked at, I think, was only running six. And they are favoring the Jet Gatling over Blast Breath. The first list we looked at only had one Blast Breath. This has three Jet Gatlings, which I do like more. I, I am more in favor of this. Okay. Uh, and they are using Khalifa for one of their 2K counters instead of X-Drake. That's fine. You know, that, that doesn't really matter, right? Um, I do think Khalifa is slightly better. And I think it's a card you even just want to play right on turn two with this deck so you can start drawing cards and this list runs four kaidos uh four queens of course and yeah that's about it everything else is pretty standard interestingly this one only runs three of this useless captain kid card uh but i understand that 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 actually makes sense to me especially when you're running four kaidos um it does make sense to me um but there is also an argument chaining these together is just insane as well right just incredible now we're going to look at one more list before we look at my list. Uh, we're going to look at the last list that won over in the east from OP05 of Purple Luffy, which will be this one right here. 
and this one in a big, or he got second place, excuse me, in a 500 player plus tournament. And notice it's very similar. It's running the Apus for the four cost 6K, page one, uh, two Kaidos, four Eustace Kid, seven drop, four Polly, and then it's running two of your Jet Gatling counters along with your sheep, two Sheep's Horn for, uh, excuse me, for resting down characters, swinging for lethal or taking care of characters you need to. Um, now this one does not run the Khalifas. Instead, it's running the X-Drakes, the Ultis, and the Zalas. But the list I'm going to show you on a second, I actually run uh, Ulti, X-Drake, and Khalifa, I believe. Uh, but overall, you see, this is a very similar list to what we're running over in the over in the West now, right? We kind of just carried over to some extent. Um, so real quick, this is the list that I, I definitely recommend trying if you don't have a list already. Let me blow it up. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to get rid of the leader because we know what it is. So this is the list, like I said. Um, let me get this blue thing out of the way. How do we do it? There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the list that I recommend trying. Uh, Bins is just the four cost 6K that I chose. You could choose any of them. Um, but this is running three Khalifas. Um, four x drakes. You could probably change that number around, go four and three instead. It doesn't matter. It's just a 2K counter at the end of the day. But I would argue Khalifa has a little more utility. But x drake can be devastating as well if you catch him at low with low cards at hand. Uh, Ulti is just really good because you could potentially get her and page one out on turn two, which is just incredible. Um... I'm running three Polys in this list, four Magellans, four Queen, four uh, Seven Cost, and three Kaido. Um, <clears throat> I think any of the lists that you've seen so far that I've shown on here are going to do just fine. Um, the idea behind Purple Luffy is tempo, 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 tempo. So, you know, typically speaking, on your turn two, you are going to take your top life card and add it to your hand and ramp a dawn. So, with that in mind, this is the kind of stuff you, you want to look for. Captain Kid, the five cost, is probably what you should aggressively mulligan for, just almost no matter what. There are some other situations, you know, Magellan against, like, uh, yellow decks, of course. Um, well, that's really, I mean, these are, these are the two cards you're looking for, depending on which matchup. But Kid is good no matter what, because when you start returning Dawn back with cards like Seven cost kid or nine cost Kaido. You know, you need to start generating your dawn back without having to lose life from your leader's effect. So those are very, very powerful. Um, what else? That, that's really, that, that's your main thing you're looking for, to be honest. Kid and Magellan are your, like, really strong uh, mid-game mid cards. And then your Kaido and your seven cost are just, just going to take you through to the, to the late game. Um, excuse me. The deck relies on a lot of 2k power because it needs to keep its characters alive. So you are going to struggle against decks that can just outright remove your characters. So, yep, you can imagine what that means. Blue-black, right? And since blue-black, Sakazuki is going to be such a force, that is why I think you should be running four of the seven cost kid. Um, as opposed to the list that ran three. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just what I think you should run. Um, nine cost Kaido is going to be a menace, of course. Um, and that's probably why a lot of people were running the Sheep's Horn. I'll, I'll just put this back, actually. A lot of people were running Sheep's Horn, which... Let me bring it back up. This card right here, it's a 2 cost Don minus 1 that allows you to rest one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 6 or less. So you could tap down their Borsalinos to get through for lethal, or you could tap down their Sabos or whatever, you name it. It doesn't matter. It'll allow you to tap things down and get through them. So very, very uh, powerful for what we're trying to do. Okay, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I do apologize again about my, my throat. My voice sounds so horrible right now. I, I understand. And um, someone asked me to do this list a while back now, and I'm finally getting around to it. My apologies. I've been super busy. Um, but we're going to keep on trucking. We're going to keep on trucking, guys. Um, if you got any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to list them in the comment section below. If I missed anything, I'm sure I did, guys. I'm sorry if I did miss anything. Please help me out in the comment section below. I tried to rush this video because of my voice um i'm sure i missed something um what else oh yeah uh please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already and until next time guys peace